Hi, this is Judy Marino at the CMCC Learning Commons, and we're going to take a few minutes to learn some of the best tips and tricks to use when searching databases for your next college research paper or project. Your first tip, use synonyms or related words. If your initial search didn't give you as many results as you'd like, put an or between the synonyms. Use a thesaurus, like wordhippo.com or visuwords.com to come up with good synonyms. If we go to ProQuest and search for crows, we come up with 32,000 results. If we go back and search for crows and use a synonym and search for crows or ravens, we get more than double the results. The same is true in EBSCOhost and Gale, and it doesn't matter if you string the words together in the first box, or if you use the drop-down or, and combine your terms that way. Just remember that or gives you more. Another search tip is to add concepts to your search using and. Searching with one word often gives you too many results. Try narrowing your topic by combining concepts using and. Adding the concepts of tools or instruments has the effect of focusing our search results. You'll see that when using OR and AND in the same search, the database put parentheses around the terms that you're combining with OR. This tells the database how to structure your search. Another search tip is to use quotation marks around phrases. Anytime you have two or more words that work well together as a phrase, try searching them by using quotation marks. So if we go back to our initial search of crows or ravens, and if we input the phrase tool use, try the search that way, you'll see we get 63 results. If we force the database to search it as a phrase by using quotation marks, our results will be a little bit different and oftentimes better. If we don't include quotation marks around these terms, most databases will take those two words and put an AND between them. Another search tip is to use database filters. Once you've completed a search, you'll find them on the left in ProQuest, and the same holds true for EBSCOhost. Common things that you'll find are limiting to full text, limiting to scholarly or peer-reviewed, limiting your dates, and your source types. It looks the same in ProQuest. You can limit to full text, scholarly or peer-reviewed, publication date, and oftentimes you can search by document type. Some instructors will only want you to use academic or peer-reviewed sources, and most databases will have options to select these. Limiting to full text will select those results that have the full text of the article with the citation. But know that sometimes this can be too limiting, as what's not full text in one database may be full text in another. Also know that your librarians can order an article for you if you can't find it full text in any of the databases. Another tip is to search specific fields instead of every field. So if you go to the advanced search screen in either ProQuest or EBSCOhost, and we are looking for crows. So if we were to search for crows and not change this, we would be searching all of these fields for the word crows. and we'd get over a million results. So if we go back, redo our search, and pick just the abstract to search for the word crows, then we're just searching the summary of the articles, and that narrows it down quite a bit. To narrow it down even further, if we go back and search just the subjects, this is the most focused way that we could search. 
searching for crows in the subject field gives fewer but the most narrowly focused results, and the subjects are those terms that describe the focus of an article. Another tip is to hunt for subject terms within your results. So if we go back to EBSCOhost and look at our list of results and open up an article that we're interested in, you'll see that there are subject terms listed with every article. Something else that you could do is go back to your result list and look for the subjects that will be listed on the left hand side. The same holds true for ProQuest. Once you have your list of results, you can go to the left and look for the subject headings. The Gale databases have a place where you can limit a subject right on the first screen. Another tip is to try multiple databases. If you don't get good results in one, try another. Each database has its own strengths, so it's worth it to try a few of them and don't get hooked on just one. The best tip of all? Come in and ask one of your librarians or one of the student assistants for help with your search. It's what we're trained to do and we can save you a lot of time. Thanks for listening.